Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the Rainbow Gem. How does it work? So, in order to find the Rainbow Gem, the first requirement is, is you have to S rank all of Sonic's stages. That's all 10 stages in the list order, including both Dusty Desert and Tropical Jungle, where you're carrying Elise, and Tails' Wave Ocean, where you play as Tails. Now, in order to S rank, um, you need to have at least 50,000 points, other than for some reason in Tales of Wave Ocean, the score requirement is 52,000 points. If you need help on doing that, I highly recommend checking out my 100% speedrun I did. You know, you don't have to go necessarily as fast. Basically, destroy everything you see and collect every ring you see in the stages, and you'll pretty much get an S rank no matter what. So... How to find the rainbow gem once it appears you'll see a final like Oh, the rainbow gem has appeared in Kingdom Valley is you head to Kingdom Valley and in section 3 after the second checkpoint What you want to do is go down the crumbling staircase and take the spring Once you take the spring you want to jump on top of the two boxes wooden boxes You see and turn the camera around and when you turn the camera around you'll see another platform there and then you jump on that platform. I believe the camera automatically turns, but if it doesn't, you'll want to turn it to the, the right so that you see another platform and then break the stained glass, enter the tower, and the rainbow gem is in there. The rainbow gem was not originally in Project 06. However, there was like, you know, th this is essentially a full implementation of an idea uh, that was cut out of Project 06 for time, I assume. So, as you can imagine what the Rainbow Gem does when we activate it, turns us into Supersonic. You do need at least 50 rings in order to transform into Supersonic um, in the stages with the Rainbow Gem active. Now, normally I have a mod installed that I use for debug and stuff for these demonstrations, but normally with Supersonic you cannot access any other of Sonic's gems. So, you're stuck with the Rainbow Gem, but that's okay because, you know, you're Supersonic. So, Supersonic, obviously, he doesn't really move on the ground. He, like, the speed doesn't really change. I assume that's for balancing just in the game. But his speed and jump height don't change at level 1. But he is invincible, of course. And he destroys any enemy, regardless of health bar, in one hit. So, normally, that enemy takes two hits to destroy. Sonic destroys it in one hit, as, uh, which is really nice. Now, unfortunately, in that demonstration, we got the Rainbow Gem all the way to level 3. Let me actually, you know, go through the stage and try to collect some more rings here so I can continue to show you what Sonic does with the Rainbow Gem. So, what you get when you go to level 2 with the Rainbow Gem, uh, which we kind of skipped, but with level 2, Sonic gains increased jump height. So, kind of like Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, when you turn into Super Sonic, you get extra jump height, pretty much double the jump height. Same is the case here. And with level three, as long as your action gauge is full, you can do the speed burst that Sonic does in the final boss fight, which is pretty stinking cool, if I do say so myself. So, you know, as long as we grab more rings here and kind of go through the stage, as long as the action gauge is completely full, and again, the action gauge only refills when you're on the ground with Sonic and with most characters, um, you can do the burst. It's a nice little burst of speed, kind of, you know, helps you out, makes, you know, things a little bit easier. You just barrel through enemies. Um, it's not too insanely useful, but it's pretty useful. Another little thing that I do want to mention about the Rainbow Gem that's really cool is Chaos X added the cool effect from Sonic Adventure 1's final boss with Perfect Chaos. Whereas, if you're going fast enough, you can see the aura around Super Sonic turn blue. That's to reference the fact that to call, if you die in the Super Sonic boss fight, uh, to call tells you that if you go fast enough, you actually turn into a lightning bolt. So a nice little homage to that there. You can also see it in mock speed sections because you can, as long as you enter mock speed sections with Super Sonic, you actually can use him in the mock speed sections, and it's really, really fun. But anyway, that's the Rainbow Gem and how it works. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.